Ecological succession is when an ecosystem rebuilds itself through the inhabitation of usually bigger and bigger organisms. So let's start with this empty space. There's nothing in it but rocks everywhere, and there's not even any soil. This is where primary succession starts. It is characterized by the development of soil in an area. Primary ecological succession is mainly seen in areas where there has been no organisms at all before. So first, pioneer organisms appear such as mosses and lichens. They can be introduced into the area by way of the wind. Now we get to see soil develop as the rocks continue to weather over time and more and more organic matter accumulates from the pioneer organisms. Alright, so now we have soil. Once the soil is here, grasses and shrubs start to take root and take over the pioneer organisms. After a while, trees will take over and a bunch of little or big critters will also come into the area. We use the term climax community to describe the final state that the community is in after succession has taken place, which stays until something happens which destroys the entire area again, like a fire or a flood. On the other hand, secondary succession occurs when there was already an existing community, but it was destroyed and left some soil behind. This is basically like primary succession, except there's already soil. Soon, grasses, sh shrubs, trees, and animals will take over the area, and plenty of vegetation will be there once more. So that's all you need to know about ecological succession for the AP Biology exam, or just science in general for now. Don't forget to comment any questions that you might have about the exam or any biology material.